Hello, and welcome to Rita's Roost. Oh, it's what is it, July the 2nd, and it's hot in my neck of the woods. I mean, really hot. But there's blackberries in season, and my husband has asked for a blackberry cobbler like his mama used to make. And I don't know if it'll be like his mama used to make, but I'm going to make one. And this is kind of an experiment with me today. But you just follow along and we'll see if it works. If not, you can laugh at my mistakes. How about that? That'd be a deal? First, I'm going to make a little crust. And not the, not the crust that, that, I, that I usually make. I usually, I make my own pie crust all the time. But this one, and I'm going to make this one. But this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to call it an oil crust is what we're going to call it. So I put two cups of flour in here. And I have five tablespoons of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and just a dash of salt. And we're going to mix that into this flour. I didn't get up and get started very early this morning, so I'm not wanting to turn the oven on either. I kind of got this aversion to, to running the oven in the summertime. Unless you get up early and do it. But I've been up this morning and I've canned grape juice this morning. And I've got dirty dishes whichever side behind me. It, this is an imperfect world and this is an imperfect place. But it's what we have to deal with. That's coming together pretty good. I said this is kind of an experiment. I remember helping my daughter make one like, like this years ago. And she even did a demonstration at a 4-H, a 4-H demonstration at a 4-H club. And if I remember right, it worked pretty good. But I don't know where that recipe went to because I hadn't used it in years. And I also remembered that up at my quilt house, I had an easy bake oven. Well, not an easy bake oven, but a toaster oven that I bought at a yard sale that my niece was having and so i went and got that easy bake oven toaster oven and i'm going to bake my pie in it today too or my cobbler that's working pretty good don't want to work it too much to make it tough but when it's all come together pretty good on my bowl and i want a top and a bottom so i'm going to divide it in half And I'm going to roll it between some wax paper. So this is the experiment part. What did I do with my pan I was going to use? I was thinking, I was thinking about seeing if I could put it in this dish because it, I tried it and it fit in the toaster oven. hot this morning. It's late morning, but I'm just, I'm warm already. I decided not to even put on my apron because that'd just be another layer to make me hot. I think I'm going to flip that over and straighten up that paper because it's kind of crinkling on one side. Get that bowl out of the way. I need I need elbow room. Need it a little longer than wider. I bet this is not a pretty pie, but I've learned that that the ugly pies taste just as good as pretty pies. And I'm turning that over because it's kind of wrinkling up my paper on the bottom side. That's pretty thin. And it's not not real round. I said we're experimenting this morning. If it don't work, then I'll make my real pie crust and make him one the other way. I'm gonna I'm gonna live with that. And put it and slide it into this into that bowl. Looky there. 
That wax paper is going to come right off there. I like crust. I really do. My husband's not a big a big crust eater on his pies, but I like the crust part. I'm going to live with that. It's not pretty, but for a cobbler, it's going to work just fine. But I'm going to put a top crust. So let's get this other half here. Kind of get it a little bit round so that way. I just heard one of my grape juices go ping. It was a little later than the rest of them. I think it was a whole, I forget how many pints of corn, but I've done corn, I've done the grape juice, I've done pickle relish so far. I've been busy. Turn it over and straighten up that wax paper. Don't know how flaky this will be, but if it's going to be a blackberry cobbler, <laughs> it's not going to have to be real flaky, is it? about the right size to fit on my pan. Looky there. That's going to fit. That's going to fit just pretty good. Now, I'm going to set this aside and now I'm going to work on the blackberries. I'm going to make sure I have my crust ready first. So I'm going to turn you off while I get my blackberries get to, get set up to cook them. Be back. I'm not sure how much of my video is made, but I put the little cobbler in the uh, toaster oven and it's baking still be a few minutes left on it it may not be real pretty but that's a yummy blackberry cobbler and all the video that I've that I would try to record didn't make but I baked that little pie over there in my little easy bake toaster oven and I didn't have to heat up the big oven over there and all, I said, all the video didn't make, but I made a tasty little ugly cobbler, and we're going to eat it.